Okay, let's have this time a fine cipher. Now, Shift Cipher is the earliest known crypto system. So the rest of the crypto systems would be using the same, um, more or less, would be using the same letter codes. That's why in a fine cipher we have here the same letter codes, guys. Okay, so we'll be discussing this time encryption and decryption using a fine cipher. Now, as we you know, as we improve some ideas, some concepts. Um, tendencies that we also complicate um, some algorithms and of course if we are to do crypto system usually we this this has to deal with security so if it has to do with security as much as possible when we are to decrypt or encrypt some messages we need to have complex algorithms so Shift cipher would be a bit simpler compared to a fine cipher right that's why we have here the algorithm in encrypting using a fine cipher we now have two keys two keys here would be a and b unlike with shift cipher that needs only one key in a fine cipher we need two keys and that would be denoted by a and b now encryption rule says that if we are to encrypt say letter k i mean letter x it would be that we need to get the product of the letter code of that letter or in this case x product of that letter code and the key a whatever the product is we are to apply or we are to add key b and after getting the sum we are to apply modulo 26 so to picture this out let's have um the word run as plain text and let's encrypt that using the key of 7.5. Let's get some notes here. Okay, so we are to encrypt the word Ron. So let's start with R. So encrypting R there. Now key is 7.5. Let me have that one here. Mm -hmm. Let's have some space instead. Key would be 7-5, which means that 7 is our letter A and 5 is the letter B there for visual learners. Okay, so encrypting R would give us A, which is 7 here a times the letter code or the code of r so 7 times um, that's 17 there plus letter b or key b which is 5 there now let's have some aid of calc here there so that's 7 times seven, 17 plus 5. You see, this is more, you know, complex than shift, um, shift cipher. The answer here is 124. And it says that we are to apply modulo 26. So that's modulo 26. Again, if you were not able to watch um modular arithmetic video you really need that one here guys so you so you will be guided on how to do or how to answer modular arithmetic that's 124 and it's noted there that if we have that 124 we just have to keep on subtracting 26 it's minus 26 equals equals until we find the positive number which is less than 26 that would give us this time 20. I hope by now you understand how come we are to consider positive number in here. Although in modular arithmetic, we may have negative numbers here. As I noted in that video, we need positive number here because we are basing it from the letter codes, all right? Our letter codes here are positive numbers, so we need to have here as well the positive numbers. Okay, so 20. So it means that R would become what letter? The letter that owns 
um, 20 as as its letter code and that would be letter U there next let's encrypt letter U because we are to encrypt Ron encrypt Ron so U has the letter code as noted here um, letter code times the key so there so the key is seven and its letter code is 20 plus letter B which is five for visual learners again that's here plus B okay be guided by that algorithm now, 7 times 20 is 140, plus 5 gives us 145. Applying modulo 26, let's have that one here, 145 minus 26 minus 26 equals, equals, equals. The answer is 15. So, you becomes what's number 15 that's the letter p there lastly let's encrypt n with a key of seven times um key of i mean letter code of n that's 13 plus five 7 times 13, that's 91, plus 5, which is 96. Let's have that 96 right away here. Okay. And 96 is congruent to, let's check, 96 minus 26, minus 26 equals equals. That's 18 modulo 26. And the letter that owns uh, that owns eighteen as its code would be letter S there, so N becomes S. There, so it means that we have here therefore Ron actually would become that's U P S. Ups instead you see if you don't know that it's decrypted instead of you doing or instead of you running you would do going up that's really different things those are different things how about decrypting this time let's decrypt so let's let's decrypt ups let's check if we can retrieve run so let's have decryption this time decrypt ups again the key would be the same in this case that seven and five there so let's now have this okay in decrypting it says that we need to get a inverse whatever the a inverse is we are to multiply the the difference of the letter code of this letter here and the key b now as you go i mean as you go higher in math or modular arithmetic when you say a inverse it means that they're a inverse a inverse of a number would mean that whatever you multiply to that number its residue would be one for example um nine say yeah say i have here nine and what's the inverse of nine as i said inverse of nine would mean whatever you multiply to nine would give us a residue of one all right one when we apply whatever the given modulo is in this case modulo 26 so for example um uh, the inverse of 9 would actually be 3. Why? 9 times 3 is 27. 
and 27 is 1 is congruent to 1 modulo 26 now it takes time to get to get the inverses of a given number so um no problem with that i have here with you already the table for our a inverses that's why you have here nine and its inverse is three all right so no need for you to calculate and look for its inverses i have it here already you may have this as basis instead so yeah going back so we have to do or we have to get the inverse of whatever our key a is times the difference of the letter code of y and b apply mod 26 right so let's do that one here going back to ups what if we are to decrypt this time u it says that we need to get the a inverse our a in this case is 7 and this the inverse of 7 is what the inverse of 7 is 15 there so a inverse first which is 15 times the difference of letter code of this letter letter code of u is 20 that's minus b which is 5 so um this is 15 times 20 minus 5 is still 15 and 15 times 15 is 2 to 5 whatever the answer is we are to multi we are to apply mod 26 so 2 to 5 mod 26 is what let's calculate for that mm -hmm. so we have 2 to 5 for the benefit of others 15 times 15 yeah that's 2 to 5 so 2 to 5 minus 26 sorry minus 26 then equals 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 that would be number 17 and what is number 17 number 17 is letter r you see we can get we can get the original message run u is actually r there how about p this time p a inverse is 15 and next would be the code of 15 and code of 15 is still 15 minus b as its key so that's minus 5 this is 15 times 10 which is 150 and 150 mod 26 would be 20 so this is congruent to 20 mod 26 and clearly um u owns 20 so p is actually letter u lastly if we are to decrypt s um a inverse is a inverse is 15 times letter code of s here is 18 minus 5 which is a letter b that's 15 times 13 that would be oh haha 15 times 13 that's 195 and 195 is congruent to let's check it's 26 13 it's right there mod 26 and of course 13 there is the letter code of n you see we really have retrieved run back so that's how you do a fine cipher guys all right so thank you for bearing with me see you on our next crypto system discussion and that's a visual cipher